So the Armed Forces Infections Breakfast Club came out of Hull um, in about 2012. There's a guy there called Derek Hardman and he started, um, he took a specialist ex-military vehicle along to a Remi, ex-Remi guy to get it serviced and repaired. Um, and other veterans came along to go and have a look at that piece of equipment. They started sending out for breakfasts. Uh, other veterans visited, they went back to their hometowns and um, they started their own breakfast clubs. And they, they, they grew organically across the country. And the way the Salisbury one came into being was that uh, I heard about it uh, about three years ago. And I thought that's quite a good idea. So I Googled to find the closest one to me. And the closest one was Southampton. And I do like breakfast, but I'm not going all the way to Southampton for it. So, so um, I got in touch with them and they're really easy to set up uh, because they're completely not for profit. They're really simple. You just find a venue and then just spread the word. Uh, they, you, you, you then have a Facebook page all created for you um, and you get logged onto, on, you know, onto, onto the website and then it's just purely about getting it out there and it grows organically. So we're in, I think we're in our third year now. Um, time has just flown so quickly. How excited or how are you feeling about having this breakfast club here at Evergreen Cafe? Well, <laughs> again, like you say, it just started as a try around really. We thought we'll, we'll give it a go and see how, how far it will go. And uh, what we have got out of it is more than just a breakfast club because people are coming in and say, oh, we heard you're going to do the breakfast club. We're going to come and see what you guys do here. And we're getting more customers out mm -hmm. of it now and um, more publicity as well. People are, you know, because of what they heard about breakfast club, they're just coming here to just envision what it looks like as well. So the excitement is there and, um, you know, a lot of people are going to be coming in. We're still getting some people who, who are not even logged on into, um, onto, the, uh, onto the breakfast club who are coming in showing interest because they had something like this is going to be happening.